Hello everyone, welcome to this video on VTU model question paper for introduction to electronics engineering subject with the subject code 22 ESC 143 R243. This is for 2022 batch students who are in first or in second semester. Let us see the question paper with the syllabus and let us try to understand which are all the important question you can expect in exam. Here you can see the left side I have a syllabus copy of introduction to electronics engineering and in the right side we have the model question paper released by VTU for 22-23 batch and introduction to electronics engineering is the subject and coming to the syllabus as you know SCE marks will be 50 but here the question paper is for 100 means you are supposed to write the exam for 100 marks they will reduce that obtained score for 50 means reduced to half of that and half of the marks will be taken from CIE. So let us get into the question paper. So in the syllabus you can see the first module is on power supplies and amplifiers. So here is power supply and amplifier module. In that the first question they have given on what is regulated power supply with neat block diagram summarize the working of DC power supply also mention the principal components used in each block. This question is on DC power supply. This is very important question also asked in the previous examination this is for 6 marks and the second question 1b discussed the need of filter circuit with circuit diagram and waveform brief out the operation of smoothing filter for full wave rectifiers remember here they have given full wave rectifiers for full wave rectifier with the filter circuit capacitor filter circuit you need to explain with the circuit diagram and waveform and you need to say what is the need of filter in that full wave rectifier. This is for 7 marks. And C with need diagram summarize the working principle of voltage divider bias common emitter amplifier with feedback. This is common emitter amplifier with feedback circuit. You need to explain the working principle of the voltage divider bias. This is for 7 marks. So this is first question. You can answer this complete ABC or you can answer complete ABC of second question. Here you can see R. So here in the second question A, they have given the problem on Zener diode. The suitable value of series resistor for the operation in conjunction with the supply voltage of 9 volts. So these kind of question may appear in the examination on Zener diode. Zener diode as voltage regulator. And coming to B in second question, what is voltage multiplier mention its applications, circuit diagram for voltage tripler circuit. This is on voltage multipliers. Voltage tripler circuit they have asked for 7 marks. And BJT as switch they have asked in C. This is with respect to the BJT as switch here. So this is about the first module question. Here you can see one question will be from the rectifiers and they may ask with filter without filter and voltage regulator or Zener diode question will be there. It may be a problem or to explain the voltage regulation. Voltage multiplier also they have asked and question will be on amplifiers like common emitter with feedback without feedback or VJT as switch. They may ask multi-stage amplifier also for 4 to 5 marks. This is about first module. Coming to second module, module 2. Module 2 is about oscillators and operational amplifiers. Here sketch the circuit of each of the following based operational amplifiers. They have asked differentiator and integrator. This question is also multiple times they have asked in the examination for 6 marks it is asked. Ideal characteristics of op-amp is very important. They have asked the ideal characteristics of op-amp and explain the operation of single stage A stable oscillator with its circuit diagram. This is on oscillators. So usually question from these two chapters will be mixed up. So oscillator question is asked and also op-amp is asked. Coming to the choice question, you can answer this one or this one. In the fourth one, you can see mention the condition for sustained oscillation that is Barkerson criteria you need to explain and determine the frequency of oscillation for three stage ladder network oscillator. This is RC phase shift oscillator problem. They have given C and R values you need to find out the frequency of the oscillation. This is for 6 marks. With neat circuit diagram and waveform, describe the operation of crystal oscillator. 
they have asked the crystal oscillator here to explain this is for 7 marks and with neat circuit diagram explain single stage multi vibrator here you can observe here also a stable multi vibrator is asked here single stage multi vibrator is asked so op amp ideal characteristics and these circuits you may get one question from these circuits for sure and similarly here multi vibrator single stage a stable oscillator crystal oscillator and ladder network oscillator four oscillators are there you will get one or two questions this is about module 2 coming to module 3 module 3 about digital electronics that is on boolean algebra and logic circuits here in the first question fifth one a they have asked to write the truth table and operation of full ladder and its circuit reduce the expression for someone carry here you need to simplify the expression for someone carry that's why it is for seven marks write the truth table and explain the full ladder and you need to write the logical diagram and simplifying for someone carry mention the different theorems and postulates of boolean algebra prove each of them with the truth table this is also for seven marks you need to write boolean theorems and postulates subtract using r minus 1's complement method subtract using r's complement method this is the subtraction question two questions carry 3 3 marks so that it is total 6 marks and again uh, if you see the sixth question this is choice for this fifth question from module 3 they have asked the conversion of number systems from hexadecimal to octal decimal to binary similarly 9's complement of this number 1's complement of this number they have asked for 8 marks and state and proof de morgan's theorem and its truth table this is also important and number conversions will be there in the question paper and also subtraction can also be asked and minimize the following function here also they have given the following functions you need to minimize that that for seven marks this is about module three in module four if you see module four is about embedded system and sensor interfacing okay in the seventh question a is Compare embedded system with general purpose system. Also provide the applications of embedded system. This is the comparison between embedded system and the general purpose system. This full question is for 5 marks. At least uh, 4 to 5 differences you need to make. And also applications that carries 1 or 2 marks. And write a note on core of the embedded system and its block diagram. Embedded system cores, microcontrollers, microprocessors you need to explain here. With, block, with its block diagram core of the embedded system. This is for 8 marks and coming to transducers, write a note on transducers, explain one type of sensor and actuator with its operation. Here generally they have asked one type of sensor and actuator, you can explain any of the sensor and actuator which you know here for 7 marks. So write a note on transducer may carry 2-3 marks and remaining marks will be for sensor and actuator which you are going to explain the operation. And coming to choice question. Question number 8, explain 7 segment display can be used to display the data and write a brief note on operation of LED. First you need to, better you need to explain how LED works and then a 7 segment display can be used to display the data. Here also they have not given what is uh, the data to be displayed. So you can take uh, how, you can take an example and explain how 7 segment display can be used to display a particular data this is for seven marks and what is embedded system and brief about the different elements of an embedded system this is again a block diagram and you need to explain about embedded system and also don't forget to write what is embedded system that is a kind of definition that is for eight marks write a note on classification of embedded systems first generation second generation and also depending on the core so that is how the classification of embedded system can be written that is for six marks Coming to module 5, module 5 is about communication, analog communication and digital modulation schemes. Here the question is, write a note on different types of modulations and briefly describe each in detail. Here they have not asked digital modulation schemes and analog modulation schemes. Simply they have given different types of modulations. So here better you explain AM, FM, PM and also ASK, FSK, PSK digital modulation schemes and analog modulation schemes and describe each in detail they have asked so better to explain each and every components every types in briefly so that it carries eight marks
Brief about modern communication system and its block diagram. This is also a repeated question uh, in the previous exam also many times they have asked. Communication block diagram you need to explain here and you need to explain for each and every block what they are going to do in the communication. This is for 7 marks. List out the advantages of digital communication over analog communication. Here you need to say the differences between the digital communication and analog communication first and then how advantages the digital communication is compared to analog communication. This is for 5 marks. And choice question is explain with neat diagram the concept of radio wave propagation and its types. This is on radio wave propagation and uh, the block diagram you can write here for 7 marks. And consider the following binary data and sketch ASK, FSK, PSK. They have given the digital signal here with these 1s and zeros. So you need to write ASK, FSK and PSK modulated waveforms by taking this as input. This is for 7 marks. So each uh, ASK, FSK, PSK carries 2 to marks. And the last question describe about radio signal transmission and multiple access techniques. So this is for 7 marks. You need to explain the radio signal transmission with the waveform and also multiple access techniques that carries 7 marks. This is about the model question paper released by VTU. I will solve this model question paper completely and the complete solution will be uploaded in the next video. Thank you.